Hardly a sport of the present day better expresses the Olympian spirit than winter sport. Because with its boundless treasure of strength, health and beauty, it can give to all mankind joy and restitution. Into the light, into the sun and the snow, up and up to where the mountains meet the sky, the roof of the world, the Alps. Down below us lies celebrated Samaritz, the winter sports metropolis of the universe and host to the 1948 Winter Olympic Games. And this, the eve of the Olympic Games, the alpine sunset gives promise of a smiling sky and the great tomorrow to come. That promise was fulfilled. The day was full of sunshine. Now a solemn moment as hundreds and hundreds of athletes representing 28 nations repeated the Olympic oath. Hockey opened the games. The American team presented each of the Swiss players with a jacket. This was the first game of the series. The ice was good, the play fast yet fair. The Swiss finally won by the narrow margin of 5 to 4. Later on, the Canadians played the Swedes.
This was a half-fought game, but the men of Sweden had to give way to the superior play of the Canadians. The final results were Canada first, Czechoslovakia second, and Switzerland third. At the Cresta run for the finals of the skeleton. Here's a close call, but this one's over. He is disappointed, but fortunately not greatly damaged. At the finish, Keaton of America, who placed second, describes a near spell. Bibia of Italy finishes the run. He's won, but he doesn't know it yet. No, he does. The start of the 18-kilometer cross-country. Number 18, Martin Lundström, the heavy favorite, is up at a terrific rate. Among the runners representing 15 nations, the Swedes and the Finns were the leading contenders. For cross-country is to Scandinavians what baseball is to Americans. At 30 second intervals, the men were sent off on their long, hard task over better than 11 miles of snowy track. Uphill, downhill, over long flats, through the woods, over dips and bumps, a never-ending variation of terrain. Here at the halfway mark is Finland's Hazu Haiki, who finished fourth. Hard on his heels is Lundström. At the nine mile mark, his speed was amazing. His powerful stride barely ate up the course. This after one hour of steady all out going. At the finish, one hour and 13 minutes after he started, one final flurry of speed brought Lundström in the winner and Olympic champion.
Niels Carlson, another Swede, finished in fifth place. Number 50, Niels Astensen, also of Sweden, finished in second place, 32 seconds behind the winner. One by one, the contestants made a final effort to reach their goal. These two men, a Swede and a Swiss, have battled one another over the entire 11-mile stretch and taxed their energy to the utmost. should tell far better than words what a race of this sort takes out of a man. The 500 meter speed skating was one mad dash from start to finish. One heat after another flashed by as the man raced against time. Norway's Helgeson was the winner, with Byberg, also of Norway, in a three-way tie for second place with America's Bartholomew and Fitzgerald. Forty contestants were entered in the 5,000 meter race. In this three and one eight mile event, the skaters averaged well over 20 miles an hour. Henry of America and McKay of Canada went all out. The gold medal went to Norway's Ljaklev, who was timed at 8 minutes, 29.4 seconds. Lundberg, also of Norway, was second with Hedlund of Sweden in third place. Next came the 10,000 meter or six one quarter mile event.
This was definitely the most strenuous ice event and the great strain coupled with the high elevation forced many contestants to abandon the race. So that each man travels the same distance, the contestants change track upon a signal from the flagman. Safer of Sweden captured top honors with a time of 17 minutes, 26.3 seconds. This is the view we enjoyed from our vantage point at a spot called the Big Dip, about the halfway mark on the ladies' downhill course. The young, the not so young, and the very young all were here. The time is up, the race is on. Here is number one. Canada takes a spill. Her chances are gone. Gretchen Fraser. Andrea Mee. Rola Khan. Further down the course. This is Lena Mittner. She finished fifth. Georgette Miller falls, losing lots of time. Suzanne Tiolier of France, who finished sixth. Trudy Beiser of Austria took second place. Eddie Schlunecker of Switzerland. She had the fastest time. The fourth place winner, Cialina Segi of Italy. Laila Shu Nilsson of Norway tied for seventh place. With Francoise Ginu of France. Lucien Schmidt Coutte of France finished in tenth position. Third place honors went to Austria's Reze Hammerer. There was only a difference of seven seconds between the times of the first and tenth places. That tells the story of keen competition among the girls. Teddy Schlunecker, the new Olympic downhill champion. 
At the top of the combination slalom, we see Nogler of Austria. Albero of Italy. Molitor of Switzerland. Henri Oreiller of France. Hansen of Sweden. Jack Reddish from Utah. Entering the last gates at the finish of the special slalom is Austria's Eddie Mal. Oreille of France. Coute, also of France. Switzerland's Molitor. Gabel of Austria. Eddie Reinhardt of Switzerland heading for the gold medal. Sweden's Hansen. Barney McLean of Colorado. Chironi of Italy. Golo of Italy. America's Jack Reddish. <laughs>